when the narcissist realizes you're gone. When they realize you're not coming back. The narcissist always wanted to be in control of you. They had the arrogance and entitlement to tell you how to be. They tried to mold you into what they wanted you to be. Because they thought that they should have control of you. But at some point, many victims get fed up of dealing with a narcissist. They may just leave. Because they don't want to be controlled by the narcissist. They want to be in control of their own lives. Rather than having someone dictate to them how they're supposed to live. So you make the necessary plans to leave the narcissist and you carry it out successfully. But the narcissist is not going to be there to congratulate you. Or to tell you that you did the right thing. They're going to say that you're selfish. Because they don't want you to be free. Which is why you had to leave in the first place. You couldn't talk to the narcissist. Because you knew they wouldn't understand. Because they're the ones who are selfish. They were just using you for their own advantage. When the narcissist realizes you're gone. They will have a desire to take revenge. They will want to punish you. Because in their minds you have gone against them. They will argue with you. And no matter what you say to defend yourself, it never gets through. Because all they care about is getting the outcome or result that they want. But if you still refuse to return to the narcissist, they will complain about you to your family or friends. They will try to make you feel bad. They will share things that you confided in them in an attempt to humiliate you or make you look bad. They will exaggerate your faults and mistakes. They will lie. They will say that you're crazy. They will get very angry. And they will deny anything that they did wrong. Which should only remind you where you left it in the first place. The narcissist wants you to feel like you are nothing without them. They may have even said that to you. Because that's how they isolate you. That's how they keep you under their control. But once you start thinking for yourself, that's when they will begin to influence the external environment. If they can't change the way you think about the outside world. They will change the way the outside world thinks about you. They will assassinate your character. They will smear your name. So that everyone sees you how they want you to be seen. 
so that you don't have any support. In some situations, this may cause the victim to return to the narcissist because they fear they cannot make it on their own. But if you still continue to leave, this is where they can become dangerous. They will try to find ways to sabotage your progress. They will try to make your life difficult. And they may even stalk and harass you. Either because they're trying to punish you or because they're trying to pressure you into returning to them. When the narcissist realizes you're gone, they will try to get you back. But you need to remind yourself why you left. You left because you don't want to be their source of supply anymore. You don't want to be their emotional punching bag. You want to be free to think for yourself and to make your own decisions which is something you couldn't do when you were with a narcissist. Because everything had to revolve around them. Everything had to be how they wanted it to be. Which should remind you why you left. Because you didn't want to live for someone else. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.